Gripping the thin-rimmed steering wheel of the 2019 Cadillac XT4 for the first time, we were immediately reminded of the exquisite, thin-rimmed wheel in the Alfa Romeo Stelvio 2.0T, a crossover sitting just one rung up the size-slash-price ladder from the subcompact XT4 and one that is delightfully entertaining to drive, despite ostensibly being a utility vehicle. That tactile experience marks the end of the similarities to be drawn between the Cadillac and the much sportier Alfa Romeo. The XT4S edgy styling had us hoping that Cadillac's subcompact crossover like its ATS, CTS, and CT6 sedans had been engineered to impress driving enthusiasts. But during the day we spent hustling the XT4 along the picturesque rural roads circumscribing Greater Seattle, it became clear that Cadillac has instead aimed for more traditional entry luxury crossover stuff, quietness, sumptuousness, and user-focused technology. Sure, it's too bad that the honey of an engine, which revs so smoothly you'd swear its cylinder liners were spun silk, must work through a transmission that positively neuters its output with lackadaisical responses. But the competent yet uncommunicative suspension and steering? That's par for this class. The rest of the baby caddies package has plenty of good stuff to look forward to. The XT4S new engine, for starters, makes a good first impression. Producing 237 horsepower at 5000 rpm and 258 lbft of torque from 1500 to 4000 rpm, this turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 is so smooth and quiet we found ourselves regularly checking the tachometer to see if it was running. And even at full throttle, it is almost disconcertingly quiet and vibration-free. Cadillac's estimates of a 7.0 second 0 to 60 mph time with front-wheel drive, and 7.2 for AWD models, are only mid-pack for this segment, but turbo lag is virtually unnoticeable. The engine code named LSY weighs 15 pounds less than the 2.0 liter 4 used elsewhere in Cadillac's lineup despite boasting a bevy of technologies such as a dual-scroll turbocharger with an electronic waste gate, an electronic purge pump, a continuously variable oil pump, and a variable valve timing and lift system with three cam lobe profiles, including a no-lift profile for two of its cylinders during cylinder deactivation events. Cadillac's new 9-speed automatic transmission has a wide ratio spread that includes a super short first gear, enabling satisfyingly quick launches, and an extra tall top gear to help it achieve what Cadillac claims is the best efficiency to horsepower quotient in its class. You have to be really listening for the shifts to notice them, and even when aggressive driving prompts the transmission to raise its shift points and alter its shift logic, the gear changes remain relaxed. Want quicker shifts? That won't happen not in sport mode, which uses different shift points and logic but no change in shift character and not when shifting for yourself with the steering wheel paddles. Rev-matched downshifts also are off the menu. The XT4S we drove were optioned with an on-demand all-wheel drive system a $2,500 upcharge capable of decoupling the drive shaft to improve fuel economy. Its rear axle features two clutches, one for each half shaft, allowing for mechanical torque vectoring. Such a torque transfer was never obvious but the XT4 proved quite capable of keeping our intended line through the twistier sections of the route, prompting little interference from the stability control system. Turn-in is quick and high-speed stability is Teutonic grade, particularly with the XT4 Sport's optional adaptive dampers. And both models ironed out bad pavement at least as well as Cadillac's full-size CT6 sedan. But a buttery ride quality combined with lifeless steering left us feeling disconnected from the experience, issuing commands that we had no idea that the car could heat until after it had done so. For example, when charging into one particularly tight, banked corner only to see the road flatten in the middle of the turn, we held on and braced ourselves for a possible slide which never happened. The car remained glued to the road with nary a squeal from a tire. The XT4 never got sloppy or untidy indeed, it was quite the opposite we just wish we weren't so surprised.